Well, hey everybody, my name is Matt Klaskowski over at Kelby One, and I wanna let you know about some new Lightroom updates in the Creative Cloud. So first off, the big news is we got Lightroom on the iPhone. All right, so if you watched a couple of months ago, uh, Lightroom Mobile came out, but it was just for the iPad. Well, now it's on the iPhone. So you actually have the same app. Uh, it just works on a smaller screen on your iPhone, but it works pretty much the same way. If you, uh, if you log into it, once you download the app, you'll see that you have all of your collections on that home screen. Uh, if you tap on your collection, you'll see that you have all the photos inside of there. And if you were to tap on one of your photos, you'd be able to edit and crop and add presets, do all the same things you were able to do in the iPad version of Lightroom Mobile. So that's all included in your Creative Cloud plan with Lightroom Mobile. Uh, moving on to the iPad. So uh, there's two new features here. So one feature, let me go ahead and show you. This one's pretty big, uh, and that is star ratings. One of the biggest things that people wanted is star ratings. So many people use stars uh, as they're going through their photos to figure out which ones they wanna keep and reject and which ones they're gonna come back to later. Well, inside of Lightroom Mobile, if you look down in the bottom left corner, we used to have flags, and we still do have flags, and the way that it worked is you would just swipe up or swipe down to add a flag on your photos. Well, if you tap on that little flag, now it becomes a star. So now if you do your little swipe up, swipe down thing here, you'll see that I can add and take away stars for that photo. So pretty cool stuff. If I back out, you'll even see when I click on the, the little top area here, right above the actual photo grid, you'll see that you can now filter by stars as well. And then you also see another brand new feature there, which is custom sort order. So that was just added uh, into Lightroom 1.1 mobile. So that's what it's called. And that's the same version that goes on your iPad and your iPhone. So your iPhone version has all those same features as well. All right. Now, I'm not gonna cover all the new features or all the features in Lightroom Mobile. In fact, I did that a couple of months ago. If you go to kelby1.com slash Lightroom hyphen mobile, you can see we did a whole launch site for Lightroom Mobile and it's got little tutorials and videos there on all those features. So if you wanna check that out. Now let's hop over into Lightroom. Big news here is uh, it's updated to version 5.5, which means new camera support, and it's also got support to use star ratings with Lightroom Mobile. So what you're gonna wanna do is just head up here to your help menu and just go down to check for updates, because what that'll do is that'll let Lightroom download the latest update and it'll make sure it's gonna be in sync with all of your new mobile apps for Lightroom 1.1 mobile. All right, finally, so, Adobe's actually made the, the Creative Cloud Photography Plan permanent. If you remember a while back, you know, the Photography Plan, which was Lightroom and Photoshop and all the Lightroom mobile apps, uh, $9.99 a month. Well, it was always, you know, it was gonna end at the end of the month or it was gonna end on the first or whatever it happened to be. Uh, well, now it's permanent, so you don't have to worry about it ending. The Photography Plan is actually a permanent part of the Creative Cloud offering. So if you haven't signed up and you don't want to today, you don't have to worry about it because it'll be around next week or next month. Okay, folks, my name is Matt Laskowski. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.